Hi Libra, welcome to your weekly forecast for August 26th through September 1st. This is a general reading for Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to see what's coming up for you guys. We've got that new moon on Friday on the 30th. We're going to see how that energy is affecting you guys. And just see what else is coming up for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. After we see what's coming up in this deck, we're going to pull a spirit message for you from a different deck. Okay? So let's go ahead and see what we have here. Here is your Monday, Tuesday. Your Wednesday, Thursday. And your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Libra, I have to say your cards jumped out a lot faster than everybody else's so far. So you might have some pretty fast moving energy this week. All right. And speaking of which, look at this. You are starting off the week with a really positive card. You have abundance coming in, Libra. Abundance. So there could be good news coming in for you, right? You're picking up on that new moon harvest kind of early here, right? Um, or you're really kind of setting yourself for being on a roll for a while, which I'm happy to see, Libra, because I know a lot of you have been coming out of a really rough period. I feel like this time last year for you guys was really rough for a lot of you. And the message this time last year was like, Libra, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. And so a lot of you are beginning to see that. You're beginning to see now that there's this abundance coming in. There's opportunities coming in that you have a chance for growth and positive change. And so a lot of you might be receiving something unexpected by way of abundance Monday, Tuesday, okay? And whatever this is, I feel it's the beginning of many, many more things to come, right? We have this great big treasure chest here that's jumping out, this great big treasure trove. So it's like uh, whatever this is, is going to be long-term for you guys. We're not talking about, you know, just like, oh, I got lucky or some nice little um, good luck came in, like this is long-term, this is long-term abundance that you're going to be able to do things with this abundance, plan, grow, invest, expand, all of those wonderful things. Um, we're going to go ahead and take a look here at your Wednesday, Thursday, and we have generosity. So that's kind of confirming that some of you might be receiving a generous offer. You might be receiving a generous um, offer to invest in something or um, a, a contract of some kind, a job. Um, it could be many things for different ones of you. This is a general reading, so it's going to apply in different ways. I do feel Libra, however, for a lot of you, what is happening is because you have this abundance coming in, you're feeling very moved and you're feeling very grateful for it, especially those of you that have been through a lot where you're wanting to be um, in a spirit of gratitude and you're wanting to pay it forward. You're being very generous with your abundance and you're giving a gift or you're, you're paying it forward, so to speak. I feel for some reason this has to do with a donation to something educational. So I don't know if you're trying to start um, uh, a workshop or uh, after school program or you're donating to some kind of school or after school program. But I do feel for some of you it's in some ways connected to... Um, to uh, to uh to educating to helping others come out of a time of poverty or difficulty or you know give them some kind of training or help and i feel that those of you who are doing something generous and you're giving some kind of a gift in this way i even feel like you're doing it anonymously like you're making the donation in the name of somebody else or in the in the name of like in the memory of someone like in loving memory of or like you're not wanting credit for it you're not wanting to have your name put out there as oh look at me I'm doing this good thing or oh look at me I'm giving money you're doing it in a very anonymous way and you're doing it because you're wanting to pay 
things forward. And this is very random, Libra, but I feel some of you are coming into this not only gratitude, like you're being very grateful for the positive things that are that have been coming in, but I also feel like you're feeling uh, like repentant, like you're, you maybe in your hard times or in your difficult days, maybe you, you had very, um, uh, I'm hearing blasphemy. I'm not saying that you guys are guilty of blasphemy. Um, and I don't feel that you're guilty of blasphemy, but some of you are feeling in some way that you were blasphemous or you're feeling in some way that you were disrespectful or that you spoke um, very negatively of your higher power or the universe or God or what however you want to call it or label it some of you are feeling guilty like in my hard times you know I um, had some very negative things that I said to the higher power uh, to source to God and so now that things are good you're in gratitude for it but I also feel like some of you are feeling bad about that time when you were in that darker place understand something about God something about higher power um, you know it's 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 love okay like love is all there is and so um there's forgiveness there there's understanding there right and uh, god higher power always knows what's in our heart right god higher power knows if we're speaking out of anger or if we're speaking out of evil you know or if we're speaking out of pain so um, you need to be easy on yourself and you need to be forgiving towards yourself, Libra. Don't be so hard on yourself. Don't be so angry at yourself um, and be forgiving towards yourself because the higher power is forgiving, okay? Your Friday, Saturday, and Sunday card is creativity. So I feel that as things are getting better for you, you have these opportunities coming in and you're not as stressed about finances or things like you used to be. You're having a chance and an opportunity to uh, create new things in your life, okay? Some of you are connecting with the arts. Libra, you all are a very artistic sign. Libras are very intelligent. They're very artistic. So you're creating or you're connecting with that Libra kind of energy. Um, and some of you are taking these new uh, blessings that have come your way, the finances that have come your way, and you're putting them into some kind of creative project. You may be funding something. You may be taking classes or training in a certain area of the arts. You may be taking um, some of this abundance and you may be uh, investing it into equipment that's going to help you create music or film or um, uh, whatever it might be, you know, writing, whatever it is that you might be doing. Uh, but you are investing in creating some kind of passion project for some of you or for a lot of you. Um, as far as angel energy, you know, angel energy came up for some of the cards. For you guys, I'm just getting more the connection of healing, love, and just like connecting with the higher power, just straight up connecting to higher power, connecting to universe, and tapping into your intuition, tapping into your creativity, okay? Um, you may also be finding, for whatever reason, this is very interesting, um, because I'm not getting the colors. Well, I guess kind of, kind of. Her tail is kind of like a coppery color. Um, I was going to say I'm feeling Archangel Gabriel for you guys, Libra. I'm feeling Archangel Gabriel for you guys. So, um, Archangel Gabriel is associated with copper. Okay, copper is a very um, conduitive uh, uh, substance. It, it can really transmit energy. And so Gabriel is very much the transmitter of messages. Okay, Gabriel is going to always bring messages from heaven, from higher power into the physical realm, into the earth um, plane into a way that you know people can receive it or hear it so he's he's the he's the messenger gabriel is the messenger angel he's also associated with creativity believe it or not because he's also associated with uh with childbirth with babies being born so that is like a creative energy like you know something being create uh created and so um, I do feel a lot of you are receiving guidance on some creative project. So whatever this creative project is, it's something that you're feeling like it's really linked to your life path 
or your life purpose. And again, some of you are trying to make amends in some way because you're in gratitude, but you're also in a sense of repentance for some reason. And you feel like this project or this thing that you're creating is a way that you're stepping into your life purpose, your life path, and you're trying to make amends for the things that you're feeling bad about. Now, Spirit is saying that you have support 100% in this project. You are being helped, you are being guided, but please do not be hard on yourself. Do not feel like you have to earn love. Do not feel like you have to earn the support of the angels. They are here to help you um, as you're taking on this project, okay? As you're taking on this, this, this path here, okay? And I do feel a lot of you are going to be connecting with Archangel Gabriel and receiving messages and guidance and, you know, creating this thing that you feel is going to be uh, bringing about healing or guidance for others, uh, to keep them out of falling into the same dark places that you feel you may have fallen into, okay? Deep stuff. It got really deep, Libra. Let's go ahead and check out your spirit card for the week. And as I always say, these are general readings. They may resonate. They may not. It's always a good idea to watch your moon sign and rising sign videos because some weeks they may resonate with you more than others. It might just bring you a little extra information. If there's free videos out there available to you, why not make use of them? All right, so we're going to go ahead and see what message is coming up here. And as always, if you like these cards, if you want to get them for yourself, I always have a link in the description that will take you to the cards if you want info about them. The common dolphin, Libra, you never know what great idea may arise in your sleep, okay? So you are receiving messages through your sleep or even through your daydreams. So it's important to pay attention to them. Somebody is already saying right now, well, Amethyst, I don't remember my dreams, so I guess I'm out of luck. Well... You're right. We don't always remember our dreams. I'm actually one of those people. Um, when I do remember my dreams, they're really crazy and they're really out there. Um, but I don't always remember my dreams and a lot of us don't. So this card is coming to you with a homework assignment, Libra. Because even though you might not remember your dreams, it doesn't mean that you didn't have a dream or that you didn't receive messages or that you didn't receive guidance. You received it, okay? But you just didn't remember when you woke up. So your homework assignment here is going to be to keep a little notepad and a pen or pencil next to your bed. And when you wake up, you're going to go ahead and you're going to write down whatever you're thinking, whatever you're feeling. Don't you dare grab your phone first thing when you wake up. Don't do that. We're all guilty of doing that. I know I'm guilty of doing that. But instead, you're going to maybe wake up five minutes early and you're going to take a moment to write down what your thoughts and your feelings are. What are the first thoughts that jump into your mind? Who is the first person you might think of? What message do you feel what what information do you feel about that situation or that scenario or that person you are going to see a lot of guidance coming in this way some of you may really feel like you know what I'm gonna make this uh a regular part of my daily routine some of you may take this and do it for more than just a week you may find it so beneficial so you are receiving guidance. Another thing I also want to tell you, Libra, is pay attention to your daydreams because this is my belief that when we do have daydreams, especially certain daydreams that really resonate with us or make us feel happy, um, it's we're, we're catching a glimpse of our future, okay? I mean, things that are possible, right? Like we might have like elaborate daydreams like we're like, you know, in a dance battle or something, or we're like, you know, in the ocean swimming or on dolphins or something. It might be something really out there. And if you really wanted that to happen, you could probably manifest it. You could probably do that. But I'm talking about like the more kind of down to earth kind of daydreams that we catch ourselves having. These are little glimpses into our future. So pay attention to those as well. Your daydreams also bring you information and guidance as well. All right, my dears. So again, be sure to watch your moon sign and rising sign video. You may need to get a private reading. I'm more than happy to do that. If you click on the Calendly link, 
in the description of the video. It will take you to where you can schedule a private reading with me. Some of you might want more information on your love life. For those of you who don't know, I do the love reading separately on this channel. But if you go ahead and click on the link in the description for the love videos, it will take you to the August love readings. September is going to be up in the next couple of days. So if you haven't already hit subscribe and hit the notification bell, if you do that, you'll get a notice in the next day or two when the love videos are up for September. I thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Have a fabulous week, Libra.